Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we're going to play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 126 of Wasteland 2. Whoa, what is this? Scrap, we will take that. A genuine Finley tech part <laughs> tank tread. Oh, I w eight pounds. No, uh, Bushnell Ocelot, though it's uh, long since broken. This portable video game. Oh, mobile with okay. Uh, do we want that? Uh, we want this hard drive, three pounds. Human hand. Oh. Uh, heart. Yes. Uh, slicer, dicer. What is this? Uh, slicer, dicer, leg gear. Are we overloaded? We are definitely overloaded. Uh, give him, give that. Okay, uh, we are 88, 89. Give that to, wow. Uh, what's this, Bushnell Ocelot? Whew. Human hand, what is this? Uh, hard drive. Sure to be useful someday. Who got the tank treads? Wow, this is super heavy. He is super, super heavy. Uh, what's this one? This is three pounds a piece. That's one pound a piece. Four pounds for twenty four pounds. Six pounds. What is that? Thresh and clear. Wow, five pounds for nine dollars. Definitely don't need that one. Who got the tank treads? What is this? Uh, bent. Oh, uh, four pounds. Uh, thirty-two pounds. See, this is the tank Octron uh, continuous track. Uh, we don't need that, right? Warranty sticker. Who got the tank treads? I read somewhere that the tank treads is super important for us. Oh, uh, who got the tank treads? What's that? Bushnell Ocelot? Oh, 
hard drive, human hands. Power glove, pocket protector, toupee. I think this is the one that is very heavy, right? Sure to be useful to somebody. No, we're not taking that one. Uh, no, we need a tank tread. I'm trying to figure out who has, who took the tank treads. Uh, that's 15 bucks a pound. Vacuum tube. I'm surprised. Uh, the tank treads are not showing up. This thing is super heavy, though. Let's drop that. Uh, so right now, we can give this to Tak. She can give Okay, she is now only one pound overweight. Wow, we are... Ooh, only he... a tinker's head i think tinker's head is would be very useful to somebody oh here's a tank tread okay uh this is wow it's heavy uh genuine finley tech part tank tread uh so we need this in uh in the in the next episode uh Supposedly, it will become very important uh, towards the end of the game. How do we... Okay, this one is worth a lot of money. Sure to be useful to somebody. Tinker's right arm. Tinker's heart. Uh, 
That's like five pounds. Six pounds, that's three pounds. That's uh, five, that's twelve. See, it says sure to be useful someday. Uh, we can't carry it. Simply cannot carry it. Yep, we cannot carry. Sorry. Bin's basket. We have these are all parts that are No, we don't want to pick that one up Okay, I guess that's it, right? Uh, man, we need to find a store. I think let's go to Jill. Is that Jill? All the way back? Uh, and then uh, let's get rid of all these items. That oh, let's yeah. Uh, hold on. Uh, we need to free this guy or something. Carefully examining the door, Scout finds an oddly shaped keyhole. Uh, I think we have. Who has tink me. Who has Tinker's uh, hand? This one, right? Yeah, Tinker's finger. A tubby young man with a robot arm and some kind of circuitry sticking out of the side of his head. That synthetic humanoid robot put me in here and did things, surgery of the frontal lobe, to me. Made me into a deformed, damaged, broken freak. 
thank you for getting me out, unlocking, dismantling of that cage. Robots? Ha, 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 ha. I learned that it was vile, malevolent, unhinged, evil. I learned that it liked to torture people. I... Rangers, please. I saw what you killed, destroyed, assassinated, did to that thing. Let me join you and I will do the same to every robot we see. I want to slaughter, massacre, maim, kill them and their master before they can and terrorize, hurt anyone else like they hurt me. Didn't you see what that thing did? Cut, altered, scarred for life to that girl? They have to be destroyed, exterminated, prevented, stopped! What kind of things did that synth do to you? It promised, vowed, swore, pledged me it was going to make me a genius. Ten times smarter than I already was. And that was pretty smart. Why else would I name myself Lexcanium? But then I realized, understood, learned it was going to put some kind of implant in my brain. I tried to say, no, negative, decline, disagree, but it just, it just strapped me down on that table and... Now I'm like... Rage, anger, pain, horror... This... Lexcanium. It means encyclopedia in the 41st millennium. I thought it was a good appellation, designation, alias, a name for someone who likes words as much as I do. But now I kind of feel like I should have just stuck with Gehan. What synth mentioned that it had a master? Didn't you oh. hear it? It said it worships someone, thing, construct, android. Abomination called Matthias. I don't know what this Matthias is or where he is, but I will hunt, pursue, stalk, shadow him to the ends of the earth. Why do you think you're a freak? Are you choking, pulling my leg, kidding me? Look at me. Listen to how I talk. I'm like a goddamn walking lexicon, dictionary, onomasticon, thesaurus. Jesus Christ! The odds worked good before, but now I'm never gonna get copulate, intercourse, procreate, laid. <laughs> you see this appendage, pseudopod, extremity arm? It's as strong as any robot's. I will tear them apart. And my cerebellum, cranium, mind, brain, with this implant. It knows more about robots and synths than any human should. I can reprogram them. Turn them against their own kind. Okay. So that sounds see, good. You gotta let me join, follow, merge, combine, come with you. You gotta. Okay, come with us. Aha, uh -huh. what are his skills? Coordination pretty low. Luck is okay, awareness good, strength is good, speed is intelligence pretty high, charisma of two, computer science, ooh, alarm, uh, mechanical repair, uh, field mechanic, oh, field medic, oh, she can replace, uh, okay, uh, what we need to do is let go of Rose, maybe? I think she is the weakest among us. Uh huh. Let's temporarily dismiss Rose. Because this guy has seven computer science. Alarm, field medic, and brawling. Okay, uh, but we don't have surgery. Okay. Let you down. At the back of the hangar is a crazed uh, workshop uh, lit by a giant neon sign from the ceiling that says, Face your fears, take the plunge. There are workbenches covered with parts, and in one corner, a glowing computer terminal. Uh oh. 
We cannot move because uh, Rose dumped all her stuff on us. Uh, okay, that is what uh, we know that he had. Uh, character. Yeah, coordination. So he is we what oh he's at level twenty. Ouch. Uh so he needs one more coordination and he'll be have an AP of uh action point of five. Uh two luck awareness uh speed intelligence. You know, I wish that luck would have been one and then coordination would have been four. That would be a better for him. Uh, and then in skills, he has computer science, uh, field medic, uh, mechanical repair, brawling, alarm, disarming. Okay. Uh, wow, he is currently pretty useless. Uh, because he is brawling so that means he needs to be up there so I right now uh, maybe we need to keep him uh, in the background because when we go up against other wow this is bad uh, because once we go up against other robots uh, Rose could have uh, so his his purpose will be just to hack them. Okay, okay, uh, we can do that. And then his perks are cyber scrounger. Okay, handyman. No crit critical failures when using mechanical mechanical repair. Plus con per level on demand. Ten percent attack. And roboticist. But he doesn't have he doesn't have energy weapons. Oh. Uh what is his uh intelligence? Oh it's at seven. So we can oh uh, he he we can give him one more point once he of to get eight so he'll get four wow it will be forever to train him up or to level him up uh anyway uh what we can do is uh transfer stuff to him like this Okay, and then what is he like? Yeah, he is a lot stronger than Rose. And yeah, but it will take a while to train him up. Uh, and then this one. Oh, well, that combat, we need to uh, change that back out to something else. Um, and I think. We can give that to what's his name? Uh, Lex Canium. <laughs> Lex Canium. Okay. Okay. He is into brawling, so he will be our. Okay. Uh...
Okay, I guess uh, that's also a blood weapon. So we gave him two blood weapons. Except his skill is brawling, not blood weapons. Oh, and he's got alarm disarming. Brawling. Can you imagine Lexcanium, but he's a brawler? Okay. <laughs> so diametrically different from uh, he has high level. High level intelligence based on his skills. In fact, intelligence is his highest skill. But he is into brawling. Okay, uh, maybe the uh, Kumite uh, book should be given to him. So his brawling will be much better. Okay, anyway, uh, I guess we can now move. Okay. Uh, Oh, that's Rose right there. Okay. Let's go check if... Uh, Okay, let's, uh, okay, I guess uh, this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye.